Hello, my name is Niall McPartlin and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is the first part of two videos that explored the drawing of a house and then making a model of the house. The first part, this video, is on drawing techniques both freehand and with drawing equipment. I will demonstrate how to draw a house layout to scale using technical drawing equipment. The terms used in drawing will also be explained. The second video will cover the techniques for making a cardboard model of the house. Isometric drawing is a type of three-dimensional drawing. Lines at three separate angles make up all the lines in an isometric drawing. Vertical, inclined at 30 degrees to the left and inclined at 30 degrees to the right. All the lines are one of the above and it is important to keep each type parallel when sketching. See how this is done in the clip. Here a cube is being drawn. See how each of the three lines are shown with separate colours, with each of the same colour parallel. Sometimes when learning it is easier to use isometric grid paper so you can draw at the correct angles. You can download isometric grid paper from the internet and print it off. See how each of the three line types are shown within the grid by drawing a simple cube. When using this paper always draw the overall object first and then the smaller objects. This makes sure the object fits on the page. Also, try and draw a simple box that the object would fit in, like a gift box for the object, and then draw the object itself. This is very helpful for drawing complex objects. At first we draw one simple box to show how to use the grid. Then we draw a simple house with a pyramid roof. The tiles on the roof and the windows and doors are drawn freehand, but still parallel to the lines of the grid. See how the windows and doors help us understand what the object is. Try practicing isometric drawing with a grid at first, and then freehand. Work up to more complex objects as you get better. Here we will be working in two dimensions or 2D. 2D can be imagined as flat drawings that have no height. This time we will use simple grid paper to help us. Each square on the grid is imagined to be 1 meter by 1 meter and the house will be 10 meters by 10 meters. So the outside edge of the house or the perimeter is drawn first to make sure the drawing will fit on the page. See how the door is drawn looking at it from above. A real door in my office was measured and it was one meter wide. So the door is drawn one meter wide or one unit wide on the grid. Try measuring some furniture in your own house to find the sizes like beds, counters, tables and chairs. This will help you make rooms that are big enough to fit the furniture. Draw lightly at first in pencil and then when you are sure of your design, go over with a soft tipped pen. See how each room is drawn. Look at the size of the rooms by counting the squares. Remember, each square is one meter by one meter. When you draw your own house plan or layout, think of all the rooms you need. Notice how some of the doors are double doors. At the end, the windows are drawn. Try and put at least one window in every room. What would a room be like without windows? With our design worked out, we will now look at drawing the plans and elevations more accurately and to scale. Shown on the screen is the drawing equipment you will need at this stage of the drawing. A set square, a ruler, a pencil and a T-square. First, it is important to make sure your page is straight and set up correctly. The T-square is set level with the top so that it is 90 degrees to the page edge. The page is then taped down. What does drawing scale mean? 
Imagine you have a toy car. It looks exactly like a real car, just smaller. If we measured both the length of the toy car and the real car, the toy car might measure 4 centimeters and the real car 4 meters or 400 centimeters. The scale of the toy car could be said to be 4 to 400 or 1 to 100 scale. Detailed drawings should always be to a specific scale. For this house, 2 centimeters will equal 100 centimeters or 1 meter or 1 to 50 scale. Now we will draw the 10 meter by 10 meter house to scale. Again, we start with the perimeter so we know it fits on the page. I have drawn a one meter by one meter grid before starting. Working to our scale of one to 50, this grid measures two centimeters by two centimeters. Now we will draw the inside walls. We will use the layout from our earlier freehand sketch. The thickness of the walls is important. Here I have drawn all the walls 2 mm thick. This represents 10 cm block walls at our scale of 1 to 50. You might want to make the wall thickness equal to the thickness of the cardboard you will use for the model later. Door and window locations are marked either 1 meter or 2 meters wide. Again, you can change this for your model if you like. Think about which way we want the doors to open. Finally, indicate some furniture to see how the rooms function. You can also label the rooms at this stage. In this video we first demonstrated freehand isometric drawing with and without an isometric grid. Sketching a plan layout with a 1 meter by 1 meter proportional grid was also explored. The last part demonstrated the technical drawing skills required in the drawing up of a detailed plan for a house and they included the drawing equipment needed, the scales used, how to draw a plan to scale. In video 2 we will look at the techniques for building a cardboard model of the house. Thank you for watching. Please check the project portal for additional resources.